The funny thing is, I have been calling this trip Panamericana, but in fact, this is the first time we're actually on the Panamericana. The other funny thing is, it really doesn't look like much, it's just a normal street. We have a little problem here, John and Guy are going back for a week, I'm going down to Lima with the car, but the seat is stuck really far behind, so I can't fucking reach the pedals! And that's why we came to this little Mad Max place to get the seat fixed. Will it be goodbye forever? We don't know. I don't think so, but we never know. <laughs> if only I known, because then I had filmed the goodbye from John last night. The seat is fixed, the guys are gone, we're off. Trujillo. I'm now with Daniela, La Voyageuse du Nord. Check out her page. Breakfast in the living room of our hosts, which is beautiful, and uh, Daisy is parked in the living room too. I like these places that are not so touristic because they're real. You know, there's nothing going on here. There's only a few locals having a good time on the beach. It's beautiful. We're now in Chan Chan, an ancient city of the culture of the Chimu. It's the last pre Incan culture in this area. I asked myself why all the Central and South American cultures had pyramids. I asked Lina, our tour guide. They were pyramids because they were sacred structures. And these places were constructed in that shape because of the energy flow. We're now in beautiful Trujillo, Peru's third largest town. And it's complete eye candy for people who love colonial buildings. What she actually said is it's 5,000 degrees and that's for sure 45,000. That's definitely what it feels like here at the Huacas del Sol y Huaca de la Luna of the Moche culture. So the Moche culture was even before the Chimu culture that we saw yesterday. They were also quite big in sacrificing people. They basically chopped their heads off and that happened right here. Beautiful. We now found this random place next to Trujillo and what we're trying to do is sandboarding up here. Like a little oasis in the middle of a sea of sand and the sand is so hot I actually feel it burning my feet through the shoes. This place is awesome. It's just stunning. Look at this. The idea was good, but this thing is moving at all. Well, I guess sometimes that's how things go. Sometimes this just don't go, and this one doesn't. <laughs> so after the sandboarding incident, we walked into this wedding birthday. We don't know. It's just beautiful. I don't know why, but this almost made me cry. Life is, life is so good. It's really good. Well, and then this just happened. My first llama in Peru. Spit. Spit. Doesn't want to spit. I think that's a good sign. We just left the main road over there and there is nothing here, nothing, nothing, nothing. It's a full on desert and the ocean is there and the sun is sitting there. What a day. I love these moments when you come to a place late at night, you have no idea what it looks like, then in the morning you wake up and it looks like this. That's pretty awesome. This is just insane. You can actually drive everywhere here on the beach. There's no one there. There's beach after beach. Nobody. Last swim on this trip probably. 
and it's a sunset swim. It's the last place before Lima and then it's up to the mountains. What can I say? It has to be done!